Hello and welcome to Cyber Spring Team. I'm Cyber Warrior 46, and this is another map review. Now this is called Hazard. The map is called, I believe it's called Hazard, and it is from Halo 4. And it's actually a pretty fun map. I recommend it for. I, rec I recommend a uh, Slayer Pro or TU because I wouldn't really trust it with jetpacks or anything. Just plain sprint. And basically what I would have is just a 5v5 or a 6v6 because you really can't, don't want to get over that. Because below a 4v4 is too small. And, uh, yeah. So. Just got that. I think that was a suicide. I think he committed suicide. But I'm not sure about that. But... I really think it's nice. It's not too much of a overpowered map where one team exactly has the advantage point. Blue team spawns um, like facing towards rockets, and red team. I wasn't red team, but I'm guessing it spawns towards sniper. There was one sniper and one rocket on this map, and just the idea of Dark Slayer 209, that is his gamer tag, the person who made this map. Uh, just the idea of looking over it, just looking over the map, and I don't know what he even used to look over the map with. I've only seen a, just a still screenshot from Game Informer of how it looks, and it's just of the upward section where I'm at right here. Now, I pick up the sweet assassination, didn't get killed. And now, be careful because that's like the chamber of death right there, as in most maps, the center is always. Even though there's nothing powerful in this area, no power weapon, no weapons, just I think a couple grenades. It's just still the fight point of the map. I don't know why. But blue team spawns where I just pass through. And rockets are to the left of me, and snipers to the right of me. So I can see, I go over there, there's no rockets, it spawns in that little landing pad right there. And the sniper spawns by like a railing. I don't know, even know what it's called, but it spawns by railing. And that'd be helpful to know. You could practice this map, uh, practice for Halo 4, and um, I guess use the DMR. Practice. I guess the DMR is like the closest to the BR. Um, I can definitely tell you, I will not be using the sniper rifle in Halo 4 because it looks too big and bulky. It's pretty much sounds like a scorpion. It'll give you away your position. Uh, for those people who have turtle beaches, who have like a uh, turtle beaches have um, people who don't know. Turtle Beaches have enhanced game volume, so you can hear footsteps of a person, so I definitely know I don't really use it that much in Halo because there's a lot of explosions, mainly, but I still think it's, it's that much of an advantage point, but I would just say pretty much it just looks bad. It looks like a tank and sounds like a tank um the reason i don't grab a sniper rifle right there even though i would rob has it in rob's like he will clean up kills if you die he'll he'll just clean it up and i believe i got several assists from him because he said he didn't even miss a shot at this game i think he got all snipes or one shot kill with every bullet so good for him he made every shot count and back to the actual map, it was, it's not too one-sided in that little structure to the right. That looks cool. Um, just the idea of him going through and finding every aspect of it. Even the, like, the foreigner guns that aren't even out yet, yet in reach are, he tried to replace it as best as he could with the map. So, I really think that's a job well done to him because you really can't expect um he just try to think of a way to coordinate the foreigner guns to a different type of gun that's actually in reach and it's just really great practice um for the actual map because it's pretty much what gameplay is going to look like on halo 4 except for it won't look like building blocks and ramps and decorative pieces it'll actually look like smooth textures and stuff that don't look like phased in or anything but it's just a major prop to Dark Slayer 2 and 9 because this is actually an amazing map. Um, I think I actually got a submission from you early before, but 
I think it was for the Angry Birds map, but just get plenty of practice for Halo 4 because I know I will. I'm not even going to use a sniper rifle for it because it just, just looks and sounds bad and probably going to have gameplay bad. But you never know. I'm going to be using that BR from Halo 3. I miss it. Even though it was in reach. But it's going to be cool. Can't wait for the... I want to see what the pistol looks like. The grenade pistol. And ooh, look, the aesthetics on this map also really great. Another good job to him. And sorry, uh, stain blades because I we were actually in, we actually recorded the call commentary, but it was his voice was messing up, so I had to redo the commentary. Um, the only problem it's messing up is. If he he has turtle beaches, but he just doesn't have an adapter to fit into his computer. I do. I have X12s that can fit into my Windows computer. I believe he has a Mac. I'm not sure about that though. So it might not fit in this certain socket. Even though he has turtle beaches, X12s work for PC and Xbox, so that's cool. But that's pretty much all I had to talk about. Thank you, Dark Slayer 209, for submitting this map. It is amazing. Don't forget to, um, I prefer, guys, send me a personal message on YouTube for uh, map reviews because it's just easier to look through. And pick up that quick snipe right quick, and uh, see you guys.